Hello there everybody, this is Thavius Beck and I'm back with a brand new tutorial course to discuss Electron's new FM synth, the Digitone, or as I like to call it, the Digitone, because I'm all about the soft G. I'm going to turn this on right now. And with this box, it's uh, deceptively deep. Uh, as I've been playing with it more and more, I've been finding more and more things to like about it, and it just keeps me coming back. So that's a very encouraging sign. Uh, it has a very nice sound quality, but beyond that, there's a wide palette of sound you can create based on the fact that it's using FM synthesis. The FM stands for frequency modulation, and this is a very unique type of synthesis uh, that was first brought into the, uh, the public arena with the Yamaha DX7. And uh, we're going to explore what FM synthesis means and how to take advantage of it to create sounds that can range from anything from nice lush bells, beautiful pads, electric pianos, uh, to the other side of the spectrum where we can make very nasty growls, uh, evolving drones, things that are much more aggressive. So we'll see all of that. In addition to the synthesis method that we have here, uh, we have four tracks that we can use, and there's eight voices that are available. Uh, this allows you to have for example, maybe two tracks that are generating chords, three note chords each, uh, and that would leave you two voices where you could have track three maybe playing a bass line and track four utilizing, let's say, maybe some drum sounds. Uh, we have a sequencer here, the classic Electron sequencer, so we're able to make beats from scratch. And I mentioned drums. We have the ability to use parameter locks, which is a classic Electron feature. Uh, you can also use sound locks to make it so that each step in the sequencer plays a different sound. This is a great method for creating drum beats uh, and just utilizing one track so you free up the other tracks to play synth sounds. So we're going to take a look at all the possibilities, uh, maybe not all of them, but a lot of them. But the first thing we should do is take a look at how FM synthesis works and how the Digitone takes advantage of it. So let's check that out first. 